Big news. SEC director fired over XRP. XRP to $65,000. According to a post on Ripple's website with comments from key executives, the company predicts that the incoming Biden administration will likely refocus on regulation and enforcement in the cryptocurrency field. Welcome to the Finance Up channel. If you liked this video, don't forget to like it and subscribe to the channel. Do you think the analysts are right about XRP? Write the answers in the comments. Giving away 500 XRP at the end of the week. One random subscriber will receive XRP coins. Take a look at the instructions in the comments section. All you need to do is write the word XRP, watch the video to the end, to like and subscribe. As can be seen on CoinMarketCap, the price of XRP has increased by almost 10% in the last 24 hours. XRP is up almost 27% after falling to a low of $0.62 during a market sell-off on February 24. The increase in investor optimism amid the latest updates of the SEC lawsuit, along with the broader recovery of the cryptocurrency market, could contribute to the recent price increase. On February 25, XRP had its biggest green candle in the last three days, when it rose by almost 15%. The cross-border token continued its growth, reaching an intraday high of $0.797 on February 26, after which it retreated slightly. According to CoinMarketCap, XRP is currently trading at $0.764 and ranks 6th among cryptocurrencies by market capitalization, pushing Cardano and Solana to 7th and 8th places, respectively. In recent updates that defense attorney James K. Phelan shared with the XRP community, Ripple and individual defendants filed an objection to the sex motion for partial review and clarification of Judge Ned Burns DPP decision. Ripple says the SEC is just trying to redo its latest move. Wow, I expected Ripple to be cool, and this brief didn't disappoint. This is the most serious application at the moment in the lawsuit, and that's right. The Securities and Exchange Commission has woven a tangled web here, and I don't expect a judge to help them get out of it. Attorney Jeremy Hogan, a partner at Hogan Hogan, believes that Ripple's recent move could be the most serious blow to the SEC. In a previously unsuccessful attempt by the SEC, District Judge Torres rejected in one word the SEC's motion to file a sur sur response in support of his motion to strike at Ripple's fair protection. As previously reported by you, today, the SEC filed an objection to forcing the transfer of notes made by Matthew Estabrook, an advisor to then-SEC Commissioner Elad Roisman, to the Ripple defendants. However, the agency went further and presented the notes to Judge Ned Byrne for viewing on camera. Ripple requested the Estabrook banknotes earlier in February and claimed they were not protected when the agency claimed consultative process privilege DPP. Ripple supporters have become more confident of victory as the ongoing lawsuit continues to make headlines even after 13 months. The effects are visible on the web. Despite the tense structure of the market, activity does not decrease. On February 24, District Judge Torres gave a simple one-word response, denied, to a motion by the U.S. Securities and Exchange Commission to file a harsh response. This was one of the most important cases in the lawsuit as the crypto community considers it a step towards Ripple's victory. While the entire community welcomed this rebuttal, XRP investors were already optimistic about Ripple's victory. Regardless of the market conditions in December and January, they continue to be more active. Transactions on the network that were affected earlier in May 2021 have changed. Ten days ago, he crossed the 2 million mark. Although this number has since dropped to 1. 69 million. Investors may linger in this area, given the prevailing uncertainty. This is also confirmed by the presence of investors in the market, which peaked at 163,000 at the end of January. These active addresses also dropped to 93k at their lowest level, but seem to have risen again in the last 48 hours. Also, investors who have left may be interested in coming back, despite a 45. 16% drop. See XRP price action image. XRP is keeping its value from falling into a bearish zone. The MVRV coefficient shows that XRP, despite fluctuations in the bearish neutral zone, managed to stay above 1. 0, which will serve as a significant support in attracting investors. This is crucial as the growth of the XRP network has been declining for several months. So this indicates that user acceptance has also declined. A10. 
54% increase on February 25 will play an important role if it can reliably position itself above $0. 7551. Ripple, XRP, has recently been in the news as a result of its ongoing lawsuit with the Securities and Exchange Commission SEC, and the use of two newly revealed legal memos. Defense attorney James K. Phelan recently informed XRP community members that Ripple had filed their opposition to the SEC and Judge Net Burns' deliberative process privilege DPP, ruling. The SEC wants to force the company to give over notes made by Matthew Estabrook, counsel to former SEC Commissioner Elad Roisman. However, Phelan observes that the SEC is merely seeking a do-over. Quote, Ripple and the individual defendants have filed their opposition to the sex motion for partial reconsideration and clarification of Judge Net Burns DPP ruling, noting that the SEC is simply seeking a do-over. Mr. Phelan wrote, by making public the initial filing from February 2012 in the second memo there was a compelling argument that the planned tokens would not be subject to federal securities laws, the company was outlining how it acquired its guidance, winning one battle in the court of public opinion. The aforementioned notes, made during a 2018 meeting between Alad Roisman and Brad Garlinghouse, came to light in January 2022, when Estabrook was clearing up his desk in preparation for his departure from the SEC. Prior to this, Ripple had filed a request to force the SEC to give over the Estabrook notes after the agency claimed the DPP and refused to pass them over to the company. On the other hand, Ripple maintained that the notes were not protected and should thus be made public. According to the company, Ripple's CEO's departure from the meeting was recorded by the SEC, which led the business to believe that the SEC had acknowledged the legal purgatory presented by regulatory uncertainty. Finbold recently reported Ripple's top lawyer, Stuart Alderotti, slammed the SEC for offensive use of unsealed legal memos. According to the Ripple General Counsel, the SEC should have examined the Perkins Coy memoranda and used Ripple as an example of proactive compliance. The fact that you would have a government agency trying to take these memos and use them as a sword, or as a bludgeon, rather than applauding a company that was doing the right thing, as general counsel of the company, but also just a lawyer who's been practicing for 35 years, I find that incredibly offensive," the Ripple GC said. As seen by recent price movements, the token seems to have moved on from the repercussions of the SEC lawsuit. In tandem with the expansion of Ripple's payment system network, the asset's price is rising in lockstep with the larger market. Currently, Ripple is trading at $0. The live XRP price today is $0.88 United States dollars with a 24-hour trading volume of $3 billion 740 million United States dollars. We update our XRP to USD price in real time. XRP is down 0.4% in the last 24 hours. Do you think XRP will be able to win the court and restore its former price? Write the answers in the comments. That's it for today. Thank you for watching this video to the end. If you liked it, then don't forget to like it and subscribe to the channel.